sound that I, I would like to work with. Uh, whoopsies. Let me find a massive sound I'd like to work with. So I'm going to click massive. Um, let me find something. Maybe an R. Yeah. Maybe one of these. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to work with that. I'm going to close this. And basically, you can open and close using this button. You don't have to hit X. Um, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to load an effect onto this. So then what you want to do is you want to hit another module on top of this sound. Um, so I'm going to go to module number two. And what I usually do, I'm going to go, I'm going to hit shift, browse again to open up modules. And I'm going to go to internal. And it's going to give me a list of options as to what plugin I want to use. So let's say I want to use a, a, a flanger. I'm going to hit load. Did I hit load? Yeah, I'm going to hit load. And just like you can audition um, other sounds and groups and stuff like that, you can, you can audition filters and effects. And if you want, you can add more than one on top of it. So let me go, let me go back to, let me exit browse and let me go to three. Shift, browse, and let me let me add a compressor. And that's way different than what we began with. So that, that can really um spark some inspiration in uh in your production if you ever lose uh if you ever hit a wall, hit a, a producer's block. Um, and the last thing I'm going to show you guys how to load is how to load sounds from your hard drive. And um, this is a personal plug. I'm actually coming out with um, my own drum kits. I, I've been working on them for quite a while. They're, they're drum kits I've collected over the years. Um, I've re eq'd them just to be fair um, and give you guys a good product. So let me go go to disc. I'm actually not done re eqing all of them, but uh, for the most part I am pretty far along so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hit disk you can't do this from the hard drive I mean from the hardware yet um, the only way to load sounds and and samples from your computer is by using the software so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to disk um, you're gonna go to documents I, it's in my documents it's in my music stuff and it's in this list but it's called 2013 drum kits um, so uh, I already I've already put it here, but what you don't see is you don't see it. Um, so I I loaded it before I I loaded it after I opened machines, and the machine won't recognize um, files that have it doesn't keep scanning it, it doesn't continuously scan. So what you're gonna have to do is tell it to rescan. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to click on this this drop down. You can select right here. You can select where you wanna find your files. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to refresh files. Uh oh, it didn't pop up. What's going on? Oh no, what's going on? It was supposed to pop up. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is load um, drum kits from off your hard drive or external hard drive. Currently, you can't do that from your hardware. You have to do it through the software, so um, you just have to deal with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to open, you're going to go and click on this disk button, and that's going to access. It's going to enable you to access your files on your 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 hard drive. Um, you're going to click this drop down button. And I'm gonna select home because um, that's where it is. Um, then I'm gonna go to documents. It's in my documents. I'm gonna go to music stuff because it's in my music stuff. And I'm gonna go to 2013 drum kits. That's where I loaded it. Um, I'm gonna give myself a little personal plug. I've actually compiled all these drum kits um, over the years. And I, I'm, I'm currently in the process of EQing them and making them sound very um, high quality stuff that I would use. I have several volumes of them. So um, 
you're going to get a little sneak peek of that. So I'm going to my hit my hit hip hop kit volume 1, going to my kicks. Uh, I'm going to open one of these kicks and that's basically how you load a drum sample. Let me let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to just, you know, load maybe four samples. Let me go to volume 3, maybe go to some snares, maybe get a, grab a snare for my second sound. And uh maybe maybe a hi hat for my third sound. Hi hat. Gonna go to yeah, hi hat eleven. Oh, whoopsies. Shift undo. Hi hat eleven. So basically now I have a little kit loaded. Um, so basically that's how you load, you know, use the browser and the library. What did you do? No. Mm -hmm. So um, next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to load um, sounds off your hard drive or your external hard drive um, using the software because you can't currently do that in your machine hardware. It's a pity, but you can't. Um, I'm going to give myself a little personal plug. Um, I've been compiling uh, several little drum kits. Um, I've been uh, creating, I created a couple um, using some raw drums and um, some vinyl drums that I sampled from a record. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm repackaging them and selling them to the public, offering them to the public um, for use. And I'm also, you know, I'm also giving a lot of them for free. But uh, it was a lot of hard work, and uh, I hope you guys really appreciate it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go give you guys a little sample of what I did. So basically, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to click on disk, and that that enables you to access your files on your computer and on hard drive. And you can select your drive through this list. Um, on this computer, I only have um, the MacBook hard drive, and I uh, have this home directory. So I'm going to click on the home directory. I'm going to go to my documents because I know that's where my sounds are. I'm going to go to music stuff and um, my sounds are my 2013 drum kit. So I'm going to select that and let's let's go to, let's say we're trying to make a pop beat. We're going to go to pop drums, volume one, I have several volumes. Um, volume one, we're going to go to the kicks. We're going to select, so maybe let's just jump to pop kick number two. And for the second sound, we're going to go to, let's, let's, just, let's just keep it a little... Let's just jump around and go to this for a snare. Pop kit number three for a snare. Let's go to pop number eight. I don't remember what the sounds sound like, but I'm just jumping around. And let's go to um, sound number four, three. Let's go to volume number four, and we'll select a hi-hat from there. Um, so basically, what I have here is I, I've loaded these drum kits, these drum samples onto this kit right here so I can play them. Um, that, that kick is kind of weak, so I'm going to go for, because some of them are meant for different purposes. I'm actually going to make a tutorial video on, um, how to use these kicks, these kits. So I'm going to go to the snappy. So basically, that's how you load, um, samples. That's how you load samples via your hard drive or external disk. Um, you'd follow the same steps, but you just select uh, your external disk and find where the files are. Um, so that that does it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so definitely stick around. Uh, the next video is actually going in and creating uh, an actual beat. Um, so uh, please stay tuned. Comment, rate, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.